Thanks for coming to the 2020 edition of the Island's Celtic Festival. Uh, from wherever you're watching. We didn't plan this at all, and that's part of the reason. <laughs> it's, it's so unpolished, but I think that's what is called for in these times, is some um, radical authenticity. Um, anyway, I, I sprung on the board two days ago <laughs> that I wanted to do a concert anyway, and Gary sent me some tracks, and I was a little bit um, unsure about whether a song about suicide was the ideal way to start this show <laughs> for our difficult times. But I'm, I'm glad he did, because a lot of people are feeling isolated and alone and afraid, and there's so much rage and um, conflict south of the border. These are dark and terrifying times, but it's not the first time we've seen this pattern in history, as you'll know if you learn a heck of a lot of folk songs. Um, there are so many of them that start out with this uh, disparity of wealth between the people who create it and the people who hoard it all, uh, and end in bloodshed. This pattern, we've seen it over and over and over again, that certain kind of people will take advantage of times when people are looking for direction and use that confusion to turn people against one another. It doesn't have to be like that. That's not a question of who's in charge or who's to blame or is it real. It's a pattern that repeats over and over again throughout history and we're at this place in that pattern where those people are ready to start that war. So we need to fight, but we have to fight back with radical love, radical hope, and radical authenticity. If we can do that, we can stop this war before, not before it starts, before it gets out of hand. In that spirit, uh, I wrote this song after visiting a friend who had a suicide attempt. Uh, after I drove home. I was cheap, and I should mention, because this takes you down the whole road home, that she was in Victoria at the time, and I was in Calgary, and when I got her garbled call um, that she had taken bottle pills, <laughs> I did what I could for her from away, but I, you know, re I really had to be there, so I went, I drove out, um, you know, the next day or a couple days later, and we spent some time together, and, you know, and she's still here. And I'm so glad. <laughs> so this song is for her.
Thanks everyone for watching and keep strong, keep fighting. Pound out love and hope, love and hope, love and hope, love and hope until everybody that you know in your community is sick of it and we can beat this thing.